What do you, your friends, or your mom think about living with a $5,000 annual income? Welcome to our channel, and today we give you the simple yet happy life of Dan Price from Joseph, Oregon. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel where we regularly upload videos of inspiring and interesting content. Click on the notification bell to be notified of new videos every time. Let's begin! Dan Price used to be like the rest of us average mortgage-paying Americans. It was only until he read a 1974 book that he realized what he wanted to be. He lived with his wife and two kids and worked as a photojournalist in a hectic work environment. They had a lovely home and every day, he would flip the pages of the book and study every detail. It was Payne Hollow, which chronicled author Harlan Hubbard's life on the fringe of society. The book detailed how a homesteader managed to live in a simple home he built with his wife in Payne Hollow, Kentucky, along the shore of the Ohio River, and reflected on society and how an individual can attain a simple and authentic life. It was the pages of the book that inspired Price to start a simple way of life away from mainstream society. His marriage, unfortunately, failed and he opted to live solo, moving away from his kids. He moved to Oregon, where he lived in a tiny cabin, a teepee, and eventually, a house he built underground on a horse pasture near a river in Joseph, Oregon. This decision to take on a less materialistic lifestyle may not be comforting to you, but to intentional poor people like Price, this was the dream. There are some people who willfully choose to be far away from consumerism. Price's life mirrors that. He doesn't keep a fridge in his so-called hobbit hole. Instead, he'd buy whatever food is on sale in the shops. Cereals, oats, nuts, and milk are a good part of his diet. It gets more primal than that. Price's job retains what he does best, writing. And he enjoys his job because he writes about how he lives his life outdoors. Price has a wilderness scene called Moonlight Chronicles, which he has been working on for 20 years now. It even has a website that still operates today. His job also blesses him with things like tents or clothing from sponsors for mentions in his journal in return. Price doesn't keep a lot of modern home appliances in his hobbit hole. Aside from an electric hot plate, the only other things in his house that are considered energy are his smartphone, tablet, and laptop, some of the things he needs for his job as a writer. Instead of keeping a washer and a dryer, Price would head out to the river near his home to wash his clothes and hang them in a the clothesline afterwards. For him, living there meant that he was rich because of what he worked hard for, a paradise. The good thing about living close to nature is that writing for Moonlight Chronicles isn't the only thing he would have to do in his existence. He gets to do whatever he enjoys the most, and that is working in the woods and in the meadows. Price would cut down trees in the autumn and plant new ones. He would replace cottonwoods with evergreens as they drop less limbs during storms. What's even better is that instead of mortgages, he only needs to pay $100 every year to the owner of the plot, provided that he maintained the place. To social enunciates like Price, mortgages only destroy the sanity of individuals living in society. You buy a house that you would have to work for for most of your life only to not spend time in it since you yourself are busy working. Price has also mastered frugal living. The bulk of the things he buys are tools in which he uses to work in the woods. He would never replace them unless he really needed to, and he only ever buys things that are on sale. Price makes around $5,000 a year, and he's able to live below his means. We all know that this is tough, but with Price's inspiration and motivation that he got from Harlan Hubbard, he was able to learn what he needed to survive everything and enjoy the contentment that his chosen lifestyle brought. He keeps a recumbent bicycle that he got from a sponsor when he went for a cross-country ride, as well as a homemade barbell 
that he crafted from scraps and concrete. He was also able to build himself a bathhouse, a work studio, and a garage. A paradise, expensive and inexpensive alike, is not without problems. He was sent to the emergency room for his kidney stones, and he got a $3,000 bill for that. He negotiated with the hospital to set up a payment plan. Price didn't have health insurance and it's one of the things he renounced, along with modern American consumerism. He thought to himself that having insurance would only make his $5,000 annual income a lot more difficult to manage. Price recalls the time he needed to buy a file to sharpen a friend's chainsaw before cutting down a tree. He thought of how people could love spending so much when he finds spending depressing. There isn't that feeling of reward in buying something. He would live his life as frugal as possible till his last breath. Price also had the opportunity to volunteer at a Nez Per Se Native American photo exhibit as well as became a caretaker at a local cemetery. Caretaking and the lifestyle of a monk were something cool to Price. This isn't a mainstream opinion, but it's what makes him happy. Price would even start taking care of open green spaces even before the job was given to him. Most of all, Price hopes that this dedication to simple living would inspire people and serve as a wake-up call. Countless people all over the world overwork themselves and have become another cog in the machine when they miss out most of their lives. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, but to each his own. Price just showed his way of life and the real lesson is for people to live life in a way that works for them, without force, without impossible ambitions, and without anything wasted in anyone's lifetime. Did you enjoy Dan Price's life story? Did you find something in the story that was very inspiring to you? Let us know in the comments and share this video to your family and friends. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. As always, we'll see you in the next one.